Hello everyone, on this episode of Reviews and Teardowns, today we will be reviewing the Anang ST170 current clamp multimeter. Uh, of course, it has a current clamp. Uh, this is just to measure uh, AC currents just by uh, clamping it around some sort of cable. And there you go. Uh, but uh, it can only measure AC current, unlike some others which can measure DC too. I really wish this one could measure DC current, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't. But uh, it's good enough. The main reason that I bought this was a replacement for my uh, old multimeter, which was fine, but uh, it died because of a reverse voltage applied to its battery context. Uh, anyway, let's test this. Oh, uh, first of all, the batteries. Uh, these, it has, to, it takes two AAA batteries, and this is an extremely annoying battery compartment. The battery compartment is a little bit too tight for the batteries, and uh, this, the contacts are very weird. So getting these batteries in and out is a chore, and uh, unlike normal battery holders, which have uh, springs for the negative end, this does not have any springs. It's just these weird contact leaf spring thingies. Uh, so you actually need to use the uh, the battery guide, the uh, guides on how to insert the batteries in order to uh, in properly insert the batteries, but I digress. So first of all, uh, this is a manual range multimeter. Uh, but it it is it's, it is technically a manual range multimeter, but um, the settings on this uh, there are so few of them uh, be, that uh, it doesn't really matter. It's basically an automatic range multimeter uh, because of its so few settings. So anyway, the first setting apart from off is continuity test, and of course, if I if I can get a good connection. It beeps and this little light lights up, and you might be able to see it better in the dark. Yeah, it lights up. Turn it back on. So uh, next is resistance. So this is two hundred kilo ohm setting. Here is a ten kilo ohm resistor. Nine point two kilo ohms. And uh, let's see if I can find a higher value resistor. One mega ohms, and if I connect it up, doesn't do anything. Oh. Apparently, this was in the kilo ohm range. Uh, anyway, this is the 20 mega ohms, which can be used for measuring higher value resistors if I even have any in here. Uh, well, oh, and if I can, if I put both these over here, it can actually, uh, it can actually sense the resistance of my body. That's kind of odd. Next up is the worst capacitance tester that I have ever come across. Uh, well. You'll be able to see why it's so terrible once I uh, am measuring the value of this capacitor. Notice it says nothing, even though that the, the rods are well connected. And finally, it says 84.3 megahertz. This thing takes an absolutely insane amount of time to, de to detect capacitance and can't even measure smaller capacitances because of its only one setting. Next up is DC voltage. Uh, well, that was a little too far. I Actually, it went to two. So this is a uh, voltage. Here's a double uh, A battery. One point twenty one point twenty nine volts. You can measure higher voltages too, like uh, this lithium cell that I extracted out of a broken sonic toothbrush. Yeah, three point nine seven volts. If I can measure it across the leads. Uh, next up is uh, six hundred volts. Uh, which I will actually need an outlet for this. So here is the end of my extension cord. Uh, and let's, oh my goodness, you won't be able to see anything. Well, let's just try to do this as best as I can. So that is the voltage. And if I, oh, well, hmm. Let's see how I can do this. So that's the meter right there. And uh, if I can connect it up, uh, oh yeah, that's right. This thing, uh, this thing also, it you have to use the select button to change it from DC to AC. But at the moment, this is DC, as you can see by a tiny text over there. But if I change it, it beeps and says AC. So if I insert the probe, it should say AC voltage. Yeah, one hundred twenty-three volts, which seems pretty normal for my area especially since I live in the U.S., which is normally 120 volts. And then we have the current settings. 
Unfortunately, I won't be able to test these because um, because I do not have an AC current source. But let's just switch over to NCV. It says EF over here, and if I bring it near an outlet, it should start beeping. Yeah, if I bring it near a wire, it starts beeping. Isn't that kind of cool? Huh. Yeah, this is basically a non-contact voltage tester, almost like uh, the one that, I guess, pretty similar to the one that I built in one of my very first videos. Um, but anyway, uh, it also has this hold key. So, for example, if you want to measure something and uh, you're measuring something, 1.29 volts, and then press the hold button. Oh. oh, And then you can press it again to release, and then press the hold button. Even if I release it, it still says 1.29 volts despite not having anything. And if I press it again, it resets itself. And uh, I'll need to turn this off, for, to turn the light off for this one. It, if I hold down the hold button, then it acts as a little flashlight, which the LED placement of this one is very odd because a lot of it is just blocked by the uh, current clamp. I guess you can open it up to just get a little bit more light out of this. And, uh, and then you can pre long press it for some time to uh, turn it off. And uh, this thing does have an auto power off feature, just in case you leave it on for some time. That's the feature that I discovered accidentally. And uh, this does come with a uh, manual. Well, this is the Chinese one. Uh, it actually does have an English manual. Yeah, this is it. And it's actually uh, surprisingly, uh, surprisingly readable, as opposed to uh, many of the things you get from AliExpress. So that is the review on the Anang ST170 AC current clamp meter.